he has gone. I just has put in regards to fat shaming. And basically what I was just thinking to myself is just like, um, fat shaming is the very concept of fat shaming is kind of like a double edged sword for me. Uh, for me, just in no context, never been overweight, never been, um, never really had to deal with it. Like I've had a pretty good metabolism. I've been pretty health conscious, kind of not really like I'll eat a bunch of junk food and then I try different foods. And, um, there's been times where I've done a lot of walking don't do that usually these days. But, um, when I work, I work, I try to work well. Um, I'm not like the best worker or anything, but I try, um, and essentially it's just like, um, I do my best to just be an overall rounded person. Doesn't mean I'm exceptionally healthy. I'm just very fortunate to have a good metabolism that works well, uh, which is the process of your body's functions of, uh, I'm pretty sure of processing food and stuff so, or just, just activity. I believe it's activity. Um, so it's like your metabolic, pro metabolic process is, I believe it breaks down food and stuff. So what I was just saying, it was just like, fat shaming is just, uh, cause it's like, in, in our culture, it just kind of bothers me with this idea of just like, oh, you're slut shaming, you're fat shaming, you're this, that, and the other. And it just makes me wonder, like back in our conservative days, um, Perhaps we did a lot of that and we didn't think too hard about it. But I'm like, um, as far as I like to think, more so, I like to think pe the people in power, um, they took the leeway to express their opinion, which is kind of ironic. And I think I'm, 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 I've been thinking about this a whole lot, just about opinions. And, um kind of like with a law, because I, I saw this dude from YouTube, Legal Eagle, and he says that in a court of law, only experts are able to give their opinion. Because, and I'm like, that makes perfect sense. And in, in a court of law, where they give their expert opinion. And I'm like, because if anybody gives their opinion, then it's everybody's thing. But for people who are qualified, book smart, and <clears throat> not just book smart, but people who've done their due diligence and research, um, they're allowed to give their opinion because there's not just their opinion is opinion is based off other more and more work that they have delved into and have, <sighs> have <clears throat> not inserted, but just basically, um, there's a word I'm trying to use. I can't remember, but, uh, invested. I think that's the word invested. They, they, they've invested their time. And so, um, they can give you a, their opinion. So I always kind of like to think that it's kind of like, Okay, the people who are able to give the best opinion are people who know better. So for me, I would think, <clears throat> yeah, people like uh, David Crowder, who is it David Crowder? Lotto Crasher, um, where he's giving his opinion about fat people, or I'm sorry, people who are o overweight, and um, He's he's been pretty curt, pretty coarse about his language. Now, for me, that's him. That's his show. Whatever he had his uh, audience, and they're gonna say what they say. My thing is just more so, just like, um, is it helpful? You know, because you know, you could say for him, he had health issues, and he's been working out and doing his thing, and so he has he's far more qualified to speak on it than I am. And I'm like, okay, he has a point, but not everybody. Um, will take criticism like that, and I guess it kind of reminds me of um. Just I'm I'm a big fan of Jordan Peterson, and so um, he's quick to say to himself like, okay, um, <clears throat> don't just be a victim, be responsible and stuff like that. And for me, I've always been a person who, um, because um, I like watching movies, like anime, I like a lot of stuff like that, and they support positive messages, and one of the things they do support is taking responsibility for your own actions. And regardless of whatever happens, whether there's systematic racism, I don't believe in that. I just don't believe it's uh, super literal. I think it's a lot more um, uh, social than anything. And, you know, I believe that's a good tie to things. Uh, but what I mean is more so regardless of all this stuff, and you can agree, disagree, agree, whatever, you have to take responsibility for your actions. And I'm like, 
I'm not the best idea. I'm not the best at best example, but at the same time, I believe I've continued. I'm in continuous pursuit of trying to be my best self, and I think that's very good to do. And just pursue your best self and, and stop. Uh, and don't let people's opinions uh, sway you negatively. You know, because not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's gonna uh, desire the best for you. And so the way I see it is that um, search for the best for yourself. So. Um, what I mean, so is, uh, in, 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 in respect to fat shaming, I don't think it's a very helpful way of doing things. Now, the most I can say is for a person who's very staunch and, and they just don't listen. They don't want to listen. They say, I'm happy the way I am despite concerning health issues that's regarding their weight by professionals. You know, these are just. Um, disconcerning people on the internet who's um, dressed in anonymity, anonymity and they like to just bash you because of an ignorant opinion and they probably just like me have leaned on their their uh, naturally given metabolic process and they're probably they potentially skinny very skinny and they don't really have to worry about weight uh, um, gaining weight if another thing is that people gain weight for different reasons, some of it is our media and the way it's expressed is, is fast food society uh, or society convenience over um, the good or the health aspect of it. They do. I mean, we can sit here and say, hey, they have lawyers and stuff and say, hey, don't defame my product. I'm like, I'm not defaming your product. Your product is probably good. But what I'm saying is they don't really tell anybody about control. They don't say that their product is addictive. They don't say that um, too much use of your product could actually um, damage you. And they say, and others may say, well, that's your personal responsibility. But I'm like, if you're an easily addictive, addictive person, a person who is quick to be addicted to things and you try this out and you hook and you could be what you could be overweight. And you're continuously shoveling this food in you. And, you, and it may be a, of a pathological thing. You may be a habitual eater. Um, or even like a binge eater. Like, you know, it's just like there's multiple reasons as to why, as to why you could binge eat. And our culture is just not very um, health conscious. And it kind of reminded me, of, and it's just like, even in Japan, like, they're very um, health conscious. And it doesn't mean that they're not eating snacks or nothing. They're just pretty health conscious about themselves. Um, their culture is very health conscious. They're on a culture. So it's like, even within a group, like if you're f even fat by a little bit, they'll just like kind of like, they'll notice. They'll be like, hey, you, you're a little, your face is a little, a little round and stuff like that. I've never been to Japan, but I've just seen this on like videos and stuff. It's just that they'll notice and they'll, they'll, they'll poke at you like, you know, hey, you, you, you get a little plump, you know, um, over here in Amer America, I can't see that happening unless somebody asks you, you know, uh, and uh, somebody actually asked me that, like, you know, it, and it could have been a trick question. I'm not very good at, like, discerning, like, the uh, intentions of of uh, females and stuff like that as they try to tell you, you know, hey, do I, how do I look at stuff like this? And, like, usually I'd be, I just assume, you know, okay, um, this is a trap. Uh, they don't really want your opinion. So, um, oh, you know, I mean, they don't want, like, a really honest opinion. But more so for me, I always try to see, try to do the best. Um, and it's not even like being brutally honest. Sometimes it's just like, okay, uh, what's the most helpful opinion, you know? And if somebody in like, if, um, um, insists what be brutally honest and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be really honest. And, um, I don't know. It's just, it, it goes everywhere, but it's like, okay, what do you, what do you want to hear? Honestly. Um, and so I guess going back to this fat shaming, it's just like, um, it sucks that um, our society is 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 fat shaming, and I'm not gonna lie and say that um, um, being overly uh, weighty, being overweight, is a good thing. I don't think so. I think there's pl there's a bunch of evidence to suggest otherwise. Again, another like people have different reasons for accumulating the weight that they have. Um, I do I do stress self love, and I do in, in, uh, uh, insist people to seek out the best health for themselves. And um, 
if being overweight will just bring you um, uh, obesity or bring you diabetes or have you do something unnecessary that will be typical of your age or, or just of your of the average human experience, then I'm like, you should probably change your diet, change yourself. And um, I'll say again, don't listen to people who don't know no better, who haven't been in your shoes or anything like that. Go to a professional and say, hey, what do I need to do? You know, I... I'm, I don't feel like the quality, quality of my life is where it needs to be. And so, um, you know, and they'll give their extra opinion. They're not going to be like everybody else who give ignorant opinions. They'd be like, well, based off, um, what I could tell from first, you know, probably like the prognosis, then the diagnosis, and they give you testing and a bunch of stuff. And they give you a suggestion of what you should do for your life, your life and yourself, which will constitute your, your well being. As far as I could tell, isn't that part of the Hippocratic Oath? Um, is just to, uh, to will the good of the other. At least that's what I'm thinking. Okay. And so point is fat shaming. It, it sucks because it's like, these, are, this is how some people lose their, lose their lives because you suicide. They just can't stand the mental anguish of being shamed. And I'm like, who wants to be shamed? Who wants to be disliked? Nobody, you know, and who's ignorantly just hide behind their body's natural processes. Plenty of people. Um, and so the concept of fat shaming is just like, it's not good because there's, there's far better motivators to, uh, of, uh, people to pursue better health. And essentially, um, that will lead them to be skinnier, healthier, more mobile, more agile, and also even more self-confident. But I don't think that, that, um, laughing and making fun of people at their expense is going to help them actually be better. In fact, if it does um, cause them to lose weight, I'm pretty sure it's not going to lead them to self-confidence, but it's going to self-deprecate them to the point that they're relying on your every word, which is not good. They should be self-sufficient and um, in a sense, self-autonomous um, because they should have to rely on your words, rely on you. Why you? You're you're this. You're that. You're that. You you that. You suck and all this stuff. And it's just like, um, what if I don't want to be that? You know, you know. And and I get it. You know, every because some people say stuff like, what if I just want to be human? Well, we're all humans. You know, let's stop making these super generalized uh, super generalizations. And I'm like, let's address the topic at hand. We're all humans. So in the human experience, we all really want to be treated decently. Um, but my point is just, you know, um, they're better motivators. You know, if people are fat shaming, don't let that be an excuse for you to continue to pursue an unhealthy lifestyle and therefore it will limit your time here on earth. Um, and another thing is, you know, that the how aspect, you know, People say want to say, oh, um, oh, you're you're good the way you are, and it's like, I get that it's positive, it's good, it makes people feel good, but it, it, does it help you engage the responsibility in which you have to tackle these issues? Everybody has issues, but if we tell them like, hey, you're fine just the way you are, you just you don't need to change, you don't need to do nothing for yourself. Again, it's flowery language and it's nice and it sounds hallmark to me. But it's like it's, it's not going to help you encounter the dragon, encounter uh, in this adventure of your life, encounter the, the issues that are at hand. And so I just encourage people to just uh, search for the best for yourself. You know, um, don't don't seek um, to just be complacent um, in just how you live. And that means you could be skinny, you could be overweight. But like, for instance, I sometimes watch this show called my 600 pound life and they are basically in the extremes to the point where like their health is at risk and the doctor says you need to you need to mentally be at this stage where you are you're losing weight you are dedicated to losing weight and then i'll help you you know um and then it's like because it's like if you perform this surgery to help them and that's that's um that's that's a big problem I have with a lot of today's politics. Um, um, it's just like they they point out issues, but they don't really point out self. Like, what should we do? And on the other side, they always say, "What should we do?" But they don't really like to admit things, admit wrongs. And so it's like 
almost like two sides of the same coin in terms of missing the point of things. Um, and I get it. They're trying to engage issues too. But um, the idea behind all this is um, seek the best. Seek the best for yourself. And in regards to this fat shaming, um, you shouldn't be shamed by who you are. Um, and I get it. I get it. That physically you are different. You know, you just got to admit that physically you're different. You look different from other people. However, um, you should be treated less than a human being because you look different. However, you should be encouraged by who you, of who you are um, and to pursue your best self. You know, if you say you want to look good and you want to look great, then you need to you need to commit to doing that, to looking great for yourself. People should not. People will not just naturally will not force themselves to like you. They will not force themselves to befriend you, force themselves to put up with you. You have to, in a sense, make yourself a likable person without losing yourself or yourself or your identity um, or even sacrifice your identity. You have to um, know that love for yourself and express that love of your of self to other people and um, search for the good in yourself and search for the good in the other people uh, of your peers. Uh, and then, you know, you're going to have people who take advantage of you. Uh, just good to keep away from them. It's hard, you know, especially if you're a super agreeable person, then you should, I mean, it's just good to keep around, keep from around them. Like, you know, you, some people want to play that game of let me try to stick it to them or uh, blow up on them. And it's just like, if these people act like wolves and they're vicious, they know maybe they've been fighting, they've probably been fighting their entire lives like that. So to tell, for you to, for them to say, um, for you to say, I'll, I'm going to play their game. They're experts at that game. So don't play their game. You don't, you're not an expert at that game. That's why they're them and you're you. So um, keep away from them. You know, they may be very nice and they may want to hang out with you. Say, hey, let's go. Let's, let's hang out. Let's do something fun, man. You know, hey, let's, let's, let's do something decent, uh, lady, girl, whatever term for the females that they want to have camaraderie with um but essentially just you know again again be aware know who you're talking to know who you're um addressing who's around you who's your friends who's trying to engage you uh socially and make sure that's positive and, and the best for you and that um they are speaking to you well um they're not just shaming you just to shame you and uh, regardless of their justifications, you know, make sure they, they're out to love you and seek what's best for you. Not just to make you happy because everybody wants to be happy and not everybody's seeking out um, the best for themselves or even the best opportunities. Even in the life's hardships and challenges, um, that hardships just don't make you happy. It's how you perceive those hardships. And if you perceive those hardships in a positive sense... Is spin it on his head and say, "Hey, uh, this sucks right now." And let's be—I'm just gonna be honest. It sucks. I don't like it, but this is something. Is everything is not lost? It kind of reminds me of Coldplay. Everything is not lost. All is not lost. I think that's it. Um, everything is not lost. Um, so it's like it's good to say, "Hey, okay, everything. Is, this isn't a total loss. Um, it's, it's it's not absolutely." In the wrong, um, it's not out, absolutely outside of the light. So, n just seeing that, knowing there's hope, and hope is a strong thing. People think that metaphysical things just don't hold me weight anymore, or in this day and age. Excuse me, and they very much do. That's how people of influence. You know, it kind of makes reminds me of um, Jordan Peterson when he speaks about the importance of colleges. Where he speak, teach you how to read, how to speak, and how to be intelligent. I'm pretty sure he was talking about three things. So it's like I know one of them was reading. I mean, I know one, yeah, read and to speak, and I'm pretty sure oh to to be articulate. So so be to, to be articulate to read and to speak. Articulate to be to read and to speak. Now for me, I I went to college. I didn't graduate, but um. I know I'm I'm better for it. Um, you know, I, there's times where even though I can't say my grades were just honors or uh, cum laude or summa cum laude or anything like that, but there's it's kind of reminds me of the limitless pill where 
even though it may not be to the extreme as that, um, it's like kind of his his uh, ability to recall things in the past. I've been I've learned to be pretty good at that, and just uh, even with my Spanish, like when like where I'm at is is there's a quite a few Spanish speakers, and it's like me just kind of pulling from high school Spanish or that year of college of college Spanish. And it's just remembering. Now, of course, I'm not the best at it, but I do somewhat okay. You know, not really. <laughs> if I can be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing too good at that. But the connections that I've been able to make has been because of that recall Spanish and just not being afraid. Now, there's always going, there's plenty of things I have to fit, figure out and finish. And those are things that I'm admit, admitting. You know, not perfect. Um, and it's not even just perfection. It's just seeking the best for yourself. You know, what human knows what perfect perfection is. Maybe you got to break that down in Google, but yeah, um, I, I just don't think human humanity is, 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 uh, capable of being perfect. I don't think we understand such a thing is such a thing. I think that's more so an ideal, um, than a practical ideology that we can actually follow, let alone trust, because it's like, Who's perfect? You know, I believe in Jesus, you know, and he focused on the things that matter and he calls us to be perfect. But I'm just not. I'm like, you can just be the best you can be. And the best you can be as you are. Well, not as you are, but in, in your own skin, fighting and pursuing what you need to be, pursue, you know. And for me, I'm Christian. So the Holy Spirit helps. Um some say the conscience, you know, um, and other things like that. The guidance that helps you push forward. But ultimately, I guess, uh, I guess we have to end of this. Um, should people accommodate you for for um, your size? Um, where you're at currently, yes. But in your pursuit of being better, being a better individual, um, not so much because you need to grow. You need to be better. Um, we all need to be better and people shouldn't just accommodate us where we're at. You know, we, we need to continuously progress and where we cap off in a sense, um, at one thing, we move on to something else. We keep pressing on and people, that's just it for all of us. We shouldn't just settle. We have to keep pressing forward and moving